Well, I see you're working very late tonight. Saving up to buy more physical silver? No. Actually I'm staying late setting up a server farm to mine bitcoins. Bitcoins? What are bitcoins? Bitcoins are a new peer-to-peer, -peer, encrypted, digital currency which has no central authority and a fixed supply. You said you are mining bitcoins. What does that mean? Bitcoins are designed to be similar to gold and silver. It requires effort to produce them. With bitcoins the work is done by computers. How can a computer mine something? Bitcoins are mined by computers by running complex math calculations. The bitcoins are awarded on the basis of a lottery with a chance of winning increasing relative to hashing power. But won't the world end up being flooded with bitcoins? No. There is a fixed number that will ever be produced. No more than 21 million can ever exist. How can they enforce that? Because the network is peer-to-peer. -peer. So every node in the network is aware of every coin and every transaction. So what? What's to stop them from being counterfeited? They cannot be counterfeited because all bitcoins must be verified by the existing nodes. Fake bitcoins would be quickly rejected by the network. But what is backing bitcoins? What gives them value? Why do bitcoins need to be backed by anything? Let me ask you. What is gold backed with? That's a silly question. Gold is gold. It is not backed by anything. Then why does it have value? Gold has value because it is rare. Gold cannot be counterfeited. Gold is a store of value. Gold is portable and divisible. Lastly, gold has value because people desire it for all of the above reasons. So if bitcoins are rare, cannot be counterfeited, are a store of value, portable, divisible, and people value them. Why do they have to be backed by anything? Well, since you put it that way, I guess they don't. But if people don't value them, then how can they have any worth? The fact is that people are very rapidly starting to value them. Their price has risen in dollar term from 6 cents to 32 dollars in less than a year. But is that legal? How can there be a digital currency that governments don't control? There is nothing illegal about bitcoins because no law on the books says anything about them. But can't people use them for illegal purposes? Yes. So what? Anything can be used for illegal purposes. Do you think that anyone has ever paid for illegal items using cash, or even gold for that matter? Of course. Then does that make gold or cash evil? Of course not. Not even an imbecile would believe that. So you can see that trying to smear bitcoins is really just an effort to discredit them by the people who hate them. Hate them? Why would anybody hate them? Banksters. Banksters hate them because they cut the banks out. How do they cut the banks out? Banks take a piece of every digital transaction because they charge fees to process them. Bitcoin's only processing fee is voluntary, and it ends up going back to the system in the next coins awarded. How's that? Because Bitcoin miners are also the processes of the transactions. So any fees awarded, which are tiny, are paid out to the miners who are keeping the system running. So evil banksters and government leeches don't get a penny from the system? Correct. Well if that's the case then won't they try to stop it? They probably will. But since the coins are free to go anywhere in the world, they will have a very difficult time of it. How well has big media succeeded in stopping BitTorrent? Good point. So I guess they may have to allow it or be left behind. Either way, it is going to be very interesting to watch. True that. Kick back and pop some popcorn and watch the show. Popcorn? In here? Yeah. Just set some over on those T6990 video cards. It will be done in no time. Lols.